Okay, good morning. Uh, on behalf of Sheriff Tove Lizardby of the Carroll County Sheriff's Department, who is the lead agency in this investigation, Delphi Mayor Shane Evans, I would like to welcome you uh, to Delphi, Indiana and Carroll County. Uh, if you would allow me a little bit of latitude here before we get into the meat and potatoes of the press conference to uh, give a couple of thank yous, I would like to do that now. We volunteer because we care. Again, we volunteer because we care. I saw that on a fire truck here in Delphi, Indiana yesterday. And I believe it's a way of life here in Delphi in the Carroll County community. Because the way this community has wrapped their arms around this investigation and provided not just resources uh, for officers as they're investigating this case, but also their willingness to give us information and anything that we have asked, including this church, uh, today for the press conference that uh, Pastor Todd has given us. And of course, we want to thank the Delphi United Methodist Church for this uh, facility today. Again, I would like to thank everyone who's given donations and any general support to this investigation. I would also like to thank in advance the person who's going to call our tip line and give us that tidbit of information that's going to lead to the arrest of the murderers of Liberty German and Abigail Williams. And I would like to thank the media for their patience. I understand there's information that you would like to get to your uh, subscribers, get out into the media. But as you know, we have information that is germane to our investigation uh, that we have to keep close to the vest because this investigation is too important to make any mistakes and give out the wrong information. So again, I thank you for your support and your patience as we go through this case. There are a couple of acknowledgments I must uh, introduce today, a couple of folks, department heads that are here. We have Delphi Mayor Shane Evans. Carroll County Prosecutor Rob Ives, Carroll County Sheriff Tobe Lesenby, Delphi Police Chief Steve Mullen, Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter, FBI Assistant Special Agent in Charge Greg Massa, and Captain Dave Burston, Chief Public Information Officer for the Indiana State Police. Obviously, the reason we are here today is to give out information in the double homicide of Liberty German and Abigail Williams. On February 13th, Abigail Williams 13 and Liberty German 14 went on a hike at the Delphi Historic Trails. On February 13th, they were reported missing later in the afternoon when they failed to return to a pickup location as a family member returned to pick them up from their hike. After organized searches on February 14th, one of those search parties unfortunately found the bodies of the two teens. Evidence in this case has led investigators to believe this is a double homicide, and that's what we're investigating at this time. Also shown uh, in front of me is an enlarged depiction of a person believed to be the suspect in this case. We are actively looking for this person. We believe this person is our suspect. And we would like any information, regardless of how small or minute you might believe that information to be, it might be the one piece of a very large puzzle that helps us get this person in custody. So please call our tip line, 844 Four five nine five seven eight six. And again, I would like, as we go through this press conference, to remind the media there's going to be information that is germane to our investigation that we're not going to release today. But at the end of the press conference, we will have time for questions and answers. So as we go through our speakers, I ask you to please hold your questions to the end of the press conference. So at this time, I would like to invite Indiana State Police Superintendent Douglas Carter to the podium.
Words tend to escape during these periods of times, and I've only had a couple of other situations in my lifetime <clears throat> I'm able to stand before you and say that. Why Libby? Why Abby? Why Delphi? Why Carroll County? Why the region? Why the state? Why even them in the nation? I say that because this is a classic example and a clear example that evil lives amongst us. To the family, to the community, the region, the state, as a leader of the Indiana State Police, I say I am so very sorry. Resources. It's unlikely that any of you will ever see, nor will we ever see or experience again, the level of resources that are attached to this investigation. To the media. My gosh, all I can say is to give you my sincere thanks. See, this isn't like TV. There's a perception that, it, that this can be solved very quickly. Anything that we do can be solved very quickly, but this is a testament that, that it can't, and we need you. We've needed you since last week. We need you today, and we need you tomorrow. And likely, we'll need the media all across this nation. So from a simple guy like me to you, I say thank you. To the people dressed funny like me and those that represent the law enforcement profession, please understand we're human beings just like you. I'd stand anywhere in the nation with the people standing behind me. And I would suggest to you that every time something like this happens, a little piece of us dies as well. But I also want you to understand how committed we are as, as a collective one, as a collective one, and we will continue. This has been briefed all the way up to the director of the FBI, Director Comey, and, and Greg Mass is gonna talk a little bit about that. I've had an opportunity to speak to my boss, Governor Eric Holcomb, a couple different times about the situation, and every time I do, I see this look that comes over his face just like yours in this communities. And that's, that's the unfortunate experience of experiencing evil. We're not stopping. The poster in front of you. Someone knows who this individual is. Someone knows who this individual is. Is it a family member? Is it a neighbor? Is it an acquaintance? Is it an associate? Or maybe that one guy that lives over at that one place that just kind of not right. Maybe it's his jeans. Maybe it's his jacket or his sweatshirt. Maybe it's his shirt tail. Maybe it's his posture. Maybe it's the right hand in his pocket. You see, even with technology, we need human intelligence. In other words, we need you. I'm not suggesting that science, that everything that we can do with science has been done because we are just getting started. Abby and Libby deserve us. They deserve every single one of us and not just the people standing up here on the stage that have given so much of their lives to not just this, but, but to this profession, but each and every one of you. Each and every person listening, watching, or seeing this in some form, we need you. Libby and Abby need you. Please do not rationalize tips away. Rationalize what you think that might not be important away. By thinking he, would never do that to another human being. Or think, what I know doesn't matter. Let folks like the people that are standing behind me with such incredible passion and commitment and dedication to this profession make that determination. 
Tips are anonymous. Some might not want to talk about it because they don't want to get involved because they know the individual. Again, he may be a family member, probably has family. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. There's not an agency on the planet better than, than helping us facilitate this than the FBI. And they're as entrenched in this as anybody. No one will know. As poor as this picture is, somebody knows. And if you're watching, we'll find you. Who's next? I hate to ask you that question. And I'd give my life to not have to. But I know you've asked yourself that very question. We must recognize it. You see, we're all the same. We're all human beings. We must keep our resolve for Libyan Abbey, for this community, and frankly, to ensure that good trumps evil. And it will. You're going to hear more in just a minute about what we know. Do not discount the voice that you'll hear. We will stay committed with resolve very, very rarely exhibited with human behavior until this conclusion. Please be patient. Become our partners and communicate with us as often as you can. And now from a very humble servant, that's the most blessed guy on this planet to represent the profession that I represent to Abby and Libby. It's my hope and my prayer that you're now experiencing God's promise of eternal peace. At this time, I would like to invite Greg Massa, Assistant Special Agent in Charge for the FBI, to the podium. Good morning. As the assistant special agent in charge, um, my role is to supervise and lead the FBI's criminal investigations across the state of Indiana. Nine days ago, um, we had an agent that was participating in the search for the, the missing victims. And from that moment until uh, this morning, uh, we have stood shoulder to shoulder with our law enforcement partners here. The FBI plays an important support role in this investigation. Um, it, it, this joint investigation. I'm very humbled by the response uh, that, that the, uh, the resources uh, that are under my direction have brought uh, and hopefully the contributions that we are making. On any given day, we have 20 FBI agents that are uh, here providing investigative uh, help, whether that's running down leads, um, conducting interviews, uh, helping with lead tracking system, um, providing intelligence uh, analysis support, providing technical assistance. Uh, every night I uh, update our uh, FBI headquarters uh, it, uh, to our deputy assistant director, and as the superintendent mentioned, this has been briefed to the FBI director on two occasions. So whatever resource that the FBI has available, whether it's here in the state of Indiana or nationally, we have brought those resources and we will continue to do so. Um, we were committed to working around the clock as we have been over the last nine days and will continue to do so until this case is solved. To the members of the community, um, when I met with our behavioral analysis unit uh, and, and their expertise and their experience, it is oftentimes even unwitting uh, that, that a member of the community may have information that is germane to this investigation. And I'd like, I'd like the community to, uh, to, to, to go back nine days and go back to the afternoon of February 13th, Monday, February 13th, and, and just think if you had an interaction with an individual who uh, inexplicably canceled an appointment that you had had together, or uh, an individual called into work sick um, and um, canceled a, a, an important appointment or a social engagement, and at the time gave what would have been a plausible explanation. Uh, my cell phone broke, or I had a flat tire on my car. But in retrospect, that excuse no longer holds water. 
that, 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 may be, that may be important. Likely so are behavioral indicators that this uh, individual may have exhibited since the afternoon of May 13th. Did this individual travel unexpectedly? Did they change their appearance? Did they shave their beard, uh, cut their hair, change the color of their hair? The superintendent mentioned the clothes that this individual was wearing in the photo. Did they, did they change the way they, they dress? Did their behavior change? Did their sleep pattern is different now? Um, did they start abusing uh, drugs or alcohol uh, where, whereas they would not have? Uh, have they been anxious, nervous, irritable? Have they followed this case uh, um, and what the media is putting out um, with, a, with a sense that is not normal? Um, have they had ongoing discussions regarding um, their, their whereabouts on that afternoon or, or thereafter? Please, if you have that information, call that into the tip line. Uh, after this press conference, the FBI will be putting out um, a, a series of these indicators on our, uh, on our social media, so it'll be uh, available um, not only to the, to the citizens of this community, but across the state of Indiana and then uh, uh, nationally as well. We'll also be utilizing digital billboards, um, uh, and, and in any way we can spread this, this message, we will. I'll just finalize my remarks just to say that uh, uh, to my law enforcement partners behind me, to the, to the community at large, Nine days ago, the FBI stood shoulder to shoulder with you. We're not going anywhere. We will be here until this case is solved, and I am confident this case will be solved. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Captain Dave Burston, Chief Public Information Officer for the Indiana State Police, to the podium. Thank you, Tony. We do have some new information for you today. Uh, it's in the form of a, an audio file uh, from the cell phone that Liberty German had with her at the time. We're not going to play everything that we have, uh, but Liberty had the presence of mind uh, to turn on her video camera. Uh, again, we're not going to be able to share everything with you but we are going to share this audio clip with you momentarily with the hope that somebody will recognize this voice. And I want to be very clear that what you're about to hear is just four short words, excuse me, three words, down the hill. You're going to hear this played four times. The audio quality is not superb, but there's enough there that somebody could recognize this person's voice. And as Superintendent Carter said, not to rationalize away. If you hear this today and you think, my God, that sounds like fill in the blank, call us. Make an anonymous tip. Tell us who you think it is. Let us investigate it. If it's not the right person, they'll just be out a little bit of time and they'll be cleared and they can go on and they'll never know that you called but you may tell us who the right person was, and you could be the person that helps us to solve this horrible crime. Micah, play the clip, please. Would you play it one more time? So that audio clip later today will be available on the Indiana State Police website. You can simply go to our website and add the extension slash Delphi.htm. There will be information on that website that talks about the reward that is being uh, collected now. Sergeant Slocum will talk more about that, the amount of uh, money that's been raised towards solving this case. And really money shouldn't be what drives somebody to help solve this just a sense of community and wanting to help and to get this person off the street. The image that you see there of the suspect, that came from Liberty's phone. I think many of you had speculated that before. We weren't prepared to discuss that at the time. We have more video. 
we're not releasing it. It's germane to our investigation. And it's important that we spread that person's voice far and wide for somebody that will recognize who that is and will call us and tell us. I also want to uh, tell you that there will be a tip line There's an email tip line. I'll spell it out for you, and it'll be on the website later, but if you want to copy this down, tips can be emailed to A-B-B-Y-A-N-D-L-I-B-B-Y-T-I-P at C-O, excuse me, C-A-C-O-S-H-R-F dot com. So that is Abby and Libby Tip at C-A-C-O-S-H-R-F dot com. Phone number, email, call the local, call the Delphi police, call the Carroll County Sheriff's Department, call the state police. Help us to capture the person responsible for these murders. As I started out, we volunteer because we care. I believe that's the way of life here in Carroll County in the Delphi area. As Captain Bursa indicated, we now have monies for a reward. I believe we're in upwards to around $41,000, with $25,000 being donated by the FBI, $10,000 by the Indiana Packers, a local business. The Andersons have donated $5,000. Indiana Lafayette Savings and Loans has donated 1000 They do that because they care. We need to solve this case. We have every resource that we can think of to prompt people to give us information. We need to get the murderer of Liberty German and Abigail Williams into custody sooner rather than later. That will be the end of our press conference. As far as speakers at this time, we will entertain questions. Is there any specific information that says the person is local or from far away? No. Could this be a stranger crime? That's a possibility. Could this be somebody that knew that the girls were going to be there at that time? That's a possibility. Nothing is off the table. Yeah, it's exactly, um, that's exactly right. The only thing I would add is um, where the FBI can come involved and if it, if it does lead interstate or multi-jurisdictionally, uh, we have that we have that capability to to stretch it further outside of this immediate community across the state or or across state lines. Let's let's go one at a time. I'll let you do your follow up, then I'll come to you. What's your follow? Go ahead and do your follow up. As a special, we know that there are going to be lots of questions that, that we specifically cannot answer because there are things that we do not want to tip our hand to the person that's responsible for this. Uh, that kind of information we're keeping close to ourselves. Is it reasonable to think that uh, that's an area? One of, one of two things happened. That was a chance encounter. That's possible. Don't think it's likely, but it's possible or that person knew that they were going to be there. That's possible as well. Those are things that we're looking to. Question over here. Similar to what I just said, there's specific pieces of information that we're, we're not discussing. 
Uh, the best example that I can give you is if, uh, if somebody is a victim of a burglary and then they're murdered, everybody wants to know how they were murdered. If we go into the details and we say they were stabbed twice in the back and they were shot in the head, uh, then everybody hears that. And then when we get tips, people tell us that, and the tip is useless. We're keeping information that will only be known by the person or by who that person told. And when that's shared with us, it will set off the alarm bells and we'll know. Greg, I'll let uh, Agent Massa address that. Uh, there has been no indication right now that, that this is part of a, a serial um, uh, murder, if that's what your question is. Um, so uh, as, as of the facts that we have collected at this point in time, we have not tied it to any other uh, known homicides. We, we have other information that we're not sharing, and, and specific to your question, Raphael, uh, keep in mind that there uh, the likeliness of the possibility of, of more than one person. Uh, we're, we're not saying that the person, that the voice that you heard is the same as this person here. This is all very complicated, very involved, and as much as we would like to tell you everything, more importantly, we want to solve the crime. Claire, that, that could be or could not be. The audio is also from Liberty's phone. So again, she had the, had the presence of mind to have the phone on and to capture video as well as audio. No, I can't. That, that is a loop that we played four times for purposes for you to hear it. No, I, there's nothing I can speak to about the scene investigation and collection of evidence. Yes, and I'm, I'm, thank you for asking that, Paris. To clarify, the, the image that you're looking at here came from Liberty's phone. There is there's nothing that we are prepared to release at this time. No, I can't say that uh, because we weren't there. Uh, we know that, that that voice was captured from her cell phone. We know this image was captured from her cell phone. Keep in mind, all of you are in the television business. What do you see out of the TV? You see this, you don't see what's over here, you don't see what's over here. Uh, so there, there's lots more that we're looking at. As I indicated before, the, the reason we believe this is a suspect is based on the totality of the evidence that we've gathered thus far. That has led us to believe this is the person that at least participated in the murders are Liberty German and Abigail Williams. Now, we're not going to release the, that part of the information, but it did come from her phone, which uh, entails that even though we enhanced it, 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 it's the best we have. That's the, the image we're giving. And just because you and I do not recognize that photo, there, as indicated earlier, a person that works with the, what appears to be a male white in that photo might recognize him. Uh, again, a family member might recognize that. Uh, unfortunately, it's the best we have, and that's what we're going to go with at this time. If we decide to go other routes later, we'll let you know. This young lady's a hero, there's no doubt. To have enough presence of mind to activate the video system on her cell phone to record 
uh, what we believe is, is criminal behavior that, that is about to occur. Uh, as far as the, the first part of your question, that's something we're going to keep uh, close to the vest as part of our investigation. But there's no doubt in our minds that that young lady is a hero. Well, unfortunately, uh, when you're in the law enforcement business, there are crimes that occur in this nature. Uh, as far as uh, the, the time frame and different things, in my experience, uh, are unique to, to my career, but uh, there are a lot of smart people standing behind me that will probably have a different answer. Uh, but again, rest assured, we're, we're using our resources to put the person and or persons that murdered Liberty German and Abigail Williams into our jail here in Carroll County. The only thing that I want to add to that is, is all of you have more questions than we can answer here today without compromising the case. Uh, I think we all can agree there's one thing we want to do. We want to capture the person or persons responsible for this crime. Uh, we wanted to get this vid to get the audio clip out to you. We wanted to uh, uh, confirm to you where that image came from. We've accomplished those two things here today. We encourage you to play that audio uh, to your audiences uh, frequently over the days uh, to come so that we can develop a tip to that tip line or to the email address that I gave you or to the website information that will be on the state police website at 1045. At this time, we're going to conclude the uh, news conference. Thank you all very much for coming here today and to helping to spread the word. Thank you.